محمد مبارك محمد عبد الله آدم ومعاوية آدم One by one, the Libyan National Army calls the names of the Sudanese citizens who've just arrived in Libya's Kufra city, putting them in lines among the harsh desert landscape of this region. The LNA distributes some clothes and food. That's all the help they will get from Libya. Almost all the Sudanese citizens arrive in Libya's Al Kufra city. Unfortunately, Kufra and its residents lack all the basic services. Therefore, the increase in the number of displaced people from Sudan represents a huge burden on the city and the neighboring villages. The last 24 hours has seen 2,400 Sudanese people to Kufra. Unfortunately, no one has a clear figure of how many are here in Libya now. Authorities in Kufra said that about 400,000 Sudanese citizens arrived there since the war broke out between their national army and the rapid support forces in April last year. However, some experts estimate double that figure. And like many other migrants in Libya, they face extremely difficult living conditions. I'm struggling. I work as a day laborer, so I earn money day by day. The living conditions are hard, but I thank God that Libya is providing us with security. We've seen no help from any international organization. I can't think about leaving the country now, not until the rest of my friends and family arrive in Libya. Some people arrived without any official identification documents. They lost them and have no passport. These people were abused the most. They paid a lot of money to come here. A big number came with their documents and education certificates, and those managed to find jobs. There are those who are barely making a living. They live in clustered accommodations. That's because so many displaced Sudanese came here and the rent rates increased. Suffering from the implications of years of civil war itself, Libya is not heaven. Yet with few options, Sudanese citizens found a haven there. But the North African country doesn't recognize refugees. So many find themselves being chased by the authorities with the risk of being returned to Sudan. Unfortunately, Libya didn't sign on the 1951 Geneva Refugees Convention. Any person coming to Libya cannot be considered as a refugee and will be viewed as an illegal migrant. So the authorities have to deal with them accordingly. They cannot even seek asylum. The Prime Ministry is trying to coordinate with the EU to support efforts for voluntary return to a country that has signed the Convention. Most of them are young. They thought that the international organizations would help them quickly. They then discovered that some people's documents have been getting processed for years. Many want to head to Europe to have a better life, find proper health care and education for their children. Most people, however, say they will go back home if the war ends. Desperate to find a safe place to live in, thousands of Sudanese citizens are seeking shelter in Libya, a country many of its own citizens left because of the deteriorating conditions the war left there. Many of those who left Sudan hope to find a way to Europe, but with all official channels to migrate are blocked, their only option is maybe to take another dangerous route through the Mediterranean. Adel Mahroui, Cairo.